Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Jabba TV, and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege tutorial, tips, guide, whatever you want to call it. And welcome back. In this video, if you're not read the title, if you didn't read the title, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best attackers for beginner players, new players, players who've never played the game. So without further ado, let's get it started. So the first operator I'm going to start off with is Ash. And Ash is a great, great player that you can use for if you're just starting to get into the game, easing into it. She's a great player. She doesn't require any type of skill to play. You don't need to know too much about it. She has a great gadget. She has a breach around that she can um, use to, um, it's like a grenade launcher that explodes through soft walls. And she has two of um, uh, some really good guns. And this R4 Seeper here is one of the best guns in the game. She has a really great gun and she's overall just a great operator. So on to number two. The second operator that is great for beginner players is, I would say, Let's go ahead and go with Sophia. Sophia is just like Ash. She's just another, basically, what, I, what, what we would call them in this game. Um, when I mean we, I mean like other players that have uh, play, played this game and be experienced. We would call her a fragger type operator. She doesn't require skill just like Ash. She's just like that. You pick that up and you go and get kills. And it's very simple and it doesn't require any skill to play. And that would be Sophia. She has the grenade launcher that can also blow through soft walls like Ash. But she also has a concussion grenade that she can shoot from her grenade launcher. So she is also a very good op good operator to use for if you're a beginning player. And she has a really good gun. But the recoil is a little high. So you're going to have to learn how to manage that recoil if you're going to want to play Sophia. And on to number three. I think I on to number three. So on to number three, I would say... Sledge. Sledge is a great operator. He's 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 one of the operators I tend to use a lot because he's so easy to use and he's he's just that 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 operator that's just just so versatile. You could play vertical. You can break down castles. You have bring a lot of utility and you don't require a lot of experience to to use that utility. So yes, obviously as you can see, he has a breaching hammer. It can break through soft wall. It can destroy gadgets. It can destroy Lucy's. It can destroy castles, barricades, all that good stuff. And he has a really good gun, not not the, one of the best guns, but it's a good enough gun. And he also has the SMG-11 as a secondary, which is one of the best SMGs in the game. And he's, he's just a great oper operator overall to use. On to number four. Number four, I would have to say... Um, by the way, I'm doing this off the top of the knocking, you know what I'm saying? But number four, let's see. I would probably go with IQ for sure. IQ for sure. It's because one... One big thing about that I like about IQ a lot more than any oper any other operator in, in this game is that she has a lot of options when it comes to weapons. She has the, the Commando, the AUG, and the GAA-1. And these are all great guns no matter which one you use. I personally run the GAA-1 because there's a lot of buzz and it's one of the best guns in the game right now. And it's low-key overpowered. But you can run whatever one you like because they're all good guns regardless at the end of the day. Her gadget is really simple. It's basically like... Um, she has this thing on her arm that flips up and you can see enemy electronics, um, things like cat cans, lesions, elamines, anything that's electronic, she can see it. She cannot destroy it, which is the, the, the downfall of it, but she can see that. She can see them and, which is somewhat good depending on how you use her, but it's, it's, it doesn't take a lot of skill to use IQ. And most of the time, you wouldn't even be using IQ for a gadget. You would just be using her for her guns because she's a really good player to use. But for beginner players, but on to the next one, number five. Number five, um, this one's a little, 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 little tough for me because a lot of these other operators are kind of require a little bit of skill, like a mediocre type skill. But I would have to say, let's go with, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, go with Blackbeard. He's a, he's a great he's a great operator for just trying to get used to the game and you're trying to understand certain things and take things slow because he, he has a shield on his gun that allows him to not get headshotted immediately. And it, and it becomes very useful in times when you're holding angles or you're holding tight peaks or if you're getting in gunfights a lot, it's, it's really useful to not get instantly headshotted and you have enough chance to react back considering that you don't really have um, that much experience he'll be definitely a great operator to use for if you're a beginner player and also he has a he has a good gun pretty decent gun it doesn't have a lot of ammo but you work what you got to work with 
you, you eventually get used to it and learn when to reload, how to reload, and understand him more as a player. And you'll definitely get better at the game if you continue to use these certain players that I'm telling you to use. And also take time out of your own day to get better at the game yourself. But if you enjoyed this tutorial, you already know what to do. Go ahead, drop a sub for me, man. I'm dropping bangers at the bangers at the bangers. Roll to 200. Oh, I was about to say 200k. 200 subscribers, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed. You already know how it is. Some of you don't, but it's cool. It's Jobby, and I'm. I like my bitches, red bone, ass fat, jello, light skin, yellow.